I am so excited to share this with you today. Last year, I got this Valentine heart box from Scrappy Tales Crafts and these beautiful chocolates. And this year, I've added to my collection with the heart add-on. And these hearts fit exactly perfectly inside the heart box topper. So you can build beautiful designs or you can cut out a spot for the inside. This is the box I made last year, nice and easy and simple. I used some pattern papers, stripe paper on the inside and heart paper on the outside. And I created these chocolates to go inside. They're super fun when you make them 3D like this by using foam squares in between, but this is gonna be really fun to play with. Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to have a little bit of Valentine fun. So today what I'm gonna do is take the new heart topper and I'm gonna to cut out a spot on the inside of the box. I picked this paper from Michaels and you can see there's some papers in here that have like see-through qualities. And so this is the one I'm gonna to use today. It's like a little polka dot, little heart polka dot. And then we're gonna cut out a heart from the inside and make it a see-through chocolate box. Super fun. One of the questions I got the most often last year was, does this fit through a regular die cut machine? Yes, it does. It fits through my Big Shot. You have to put it in sideways but you can still run it through. You don't need extender plates. You don't need a larger die cut machine. You can fit it through a regular machine. I was so happy about that because I don't have a larger machine. <laughs> and then for this piece here, this is what's gonna create the box shape. You can use an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper to cut these out. And all you have to do is fold them down and then you're gonna take two of them to create the heart box itself. One thing I should mention is that to cut out the heart top itself, you do need a larger piece of paper, larger than six by six. If you have a six by eight, that would work. I ended up using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I cut it in half so it was six by 12 and that's what I cut my heart out of. Now, what I'm showing you here is that the first heart I cut with the, the next size heart down, it was too narrow of a piece to fit the, the heart box or to fit the flaps underneath. So I created a larger opening by using the, the die cut from the next size down. And I'm adding that to a thicker sheet of cardstock so it's nice and sturdy. And now I've cut out the piece that's the see-through piece, and I cut it out of the largest heart that's in the original heart box die set, and now I'm gonna glue that together as well. And in order to get that to stay, I do put some acrylic blocks over the top and allow that to dry completely before I do anything else. So I'm gonna put those acrylic blocks over the top, and now I'm gonna start creating the box itself. So you can see how easy this is. I'm going to link my video from last year. It shows you exactly how to do this. But basically what I wanted to tell you was the, the bottom portion of the box, which is what I'm building now, you wanna make sure that you put this a little bit more towards the inside, leave a small little tiny bit around the outside so that the top of the box can fit perfectly over this bottom portion of the box. So I'm just gonna kind of arrange that and glue that piece together here. Just make sure they fit together. This is a really simple box to put together. It just takes a little bit of know-how, knowing how to cut or how to position it a little bit more to the inside on the bottom. Now on the top, I'm going to glue one more sheet of cardstock to that acetate piece because I didn't think that the that it would glue, it would be too slippery to glue the inner inside of this box. So that's why I glued an extra piece of cardstock. For the top of the box, I want it to be a little bit larger than the bottom, so I'm making sure to line that completely up with the outside edge. So the bottom we moved inside, this one is more towards the outside. 
but it is really, really simple. It just takes, just takes a, a minute to allow those to dry. And I found liquid adhesive worked really well for me. And look at this, this box topper is super cute with that cutout. Now I cut two smaller hearts, one to fit in the inside of the box, and then I thought it would be super cute on the back of the box as well. Since the top box topper is, is clear, see-through, I definitely didn't want to put one on the inside of the topper. So I'm going to glue this piece to the bottom of the box. And I think this paper is super cute. It's got some happy little hearts on it. It's going to make anyone smile. So there we go. And let me just show you what piece it is. It's this piece that has those extra uh, little notches in it. That just shows you where to put the grid if you're going to make the grid to go on the inside like I did from the box I showed you from last year. But today I'm just going to put in some of these little scrunched up papers and I'm going to add some candy. This is Frere Rocher. I love this candy and it fits quite a few in, but I'm just going to nestle about five in for my box this time. You could definitely fit more if you wanted, but look at this. Then the top goes right on. And now it's just a matter of decorating the box top how you want to. I've got this large hugs die. This is a beautiful, beautiful die, but I found it was a little bit big. That love, that is from this kit itself. And the hugs die is from the stamp market. But look at this, you can fit almost an entire bag of Hershey's hugs or kisses inside. It's a really good size box. I was so surprised how much you could fit in here. So I'm gonna take these out and show you another option. So while I take these out, I'm gonna just add a little bit of this shred, the paper shred, because I'm gonna take some chocolates from C's Candies, my favorite. I just happen to have some leftover from Christmas. Yeah, I can't believe I haven't eaten all these yet either, because <laughs> it is from Christmas. But look how beautiful these look nestled into that shredded paper inside the box. Oh, I love it. This was probably my favorite, adding the chocolates. You could also do some chocolate covered strawberries. You can do anything that you want. And look at this. And so I'm just gonna put that box topper on. I decided that I the hugs was a little too big for the see-through box topper, but this love is just about perfect. And then I took, and the bow would be really pretty too. Look at this bow. This is the one I used on the pink one. So you can definitely cut out that bow for the topper as well. But I really liked the love. And then I'm gonna put some of those die cut paper chocolates on top as well. Look how cute this is. So I'll put this all together, add the love, at first I thought it would be good over here and then I decided to move it up to the upper right hand corner. But you definitely can decorate this as any way you want. There's also a Be Mine die cut that comes in the kit or in this die set. But look at this, here's the one with the grids that I made. You can fit some Hershey hugs in there. And then I also have some M&Ms. These happen to be Valentine peanut butter M&Ms which is one of my downfalls. <laughs> but look how cute that looks. A really fun and beautiful chocolate box. I'm gonna add a few chocolates to the top of this one as well. And there's our collection of boxes. Very simple to put together, very easy. I will link all the products below if you wanna go take a look. It's a super fun kit. I, I, I mean, I adore those chocolates, look at that. Very, very cute. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope you had a good time. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back real soon with more paper crafting inspiration. And I hope to see you then. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.